yesterday I decided I got to do another show because Andrew Tate was arrested um, in Romania but on UK charges. I haven't looked at the story probably I've intentionally avoided looking at the story um, but I already have some knowledge and understanding of the accusations and charges that he had here previously that was expectedly coming up. Andrew Tate and the Red Pill community is something I've been talking about online for a long time. Um, I haven't really got to it in these last month or so where I've been doing this content online. So I've been talking more about racism um, and we're gonna get way more into this red pill and misogyny um, space 100%. So. As I said, I haven't really looked at what's happened, not in detail. I've seen headlines. So I'm just going to watch this quick news report. I'm going to watch a couple of them. And we're going to address what these charges are and what they mean. So Andrew Tate faces extradition to UK over art and human trafficking um, claims, I guess that says. Let me just see. Yeah, claims which is the same charges he's already got I've seen different headlines that list different charges so I don't know if that's correct or not but let's check it out let me know in the comments anyone that's watching that, that you can hear this okay and that the volume's all running the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate has told the BBC tonight that he has nothing to fear after a court in Romania ruled he and his brother Tristan can be extradited back to the UK now, they've oh. faced several allegations, including rape and human trafficking, over a number of years. They categorically reject the claims. Well, Nick Beek is live in the Romanian capital, Bucharest, for us now. Nick, you caught up with Mr Tate. What did he have to say? Yeah, good evening, Clive. Of course, Andrew Tate, one of the most Googled people on the planet and back in the spotlight once again today. Tonight, he and his brother are back at their home. They've been allowed to return here and they're claiming that as a victory in itself. But still, Mr. Tate faces extremely serious allegations, both here in they Romania claim everything and as a victory. also in the UK. This is a bit of an annoying first video to watch. I mean, it, it seemed like the original um, story. I wanted to see the original story before I get Tate's response, but I have seen other videos showing him actually talking. So. I guess we'll just watch this, but it's interesting that the first thing they've started with is his response, rather than what's actually happened on the other side. UK with now the possibility, the prospect of extradition. As I caught up with him earlier tonight, he was defiant. I might show Back it, at his house see. in Bucharest, after another day in custody. Andrew Tate and his brother praised the Romanian court for letting them come home, for now. The UK now, as they've seen that we're going to be found innocent in Romania, have decided to try and weaponize Romanian courts to put us back in jail, and that has failed, and justice has come through tonight for us, which is fantastic. But the Romanian judge did not find them innocent. These men love, like, they love making themselves sound guilty. Like when you have to paint a picture of a, like a story and a narrative that we all know is not true, we all know something else has happened in that courtroom and it's going to be report, reported correctly, it just makes you look like you're trying it. And like the difficult thing is, to most stupid people who follow these guys and who are brainwashed by them, they will fall for it. Instead, she agreed to an extradition request from British police, who are investigating allegations of rape and human trafficking, as I put to Andrew Tate tonight. If you may have looked at someone wrong or sped in a car in 2012, they're going to try and put you in jail but for it. But Bedfordshire police that's, are looking at very serious allegations, but you, you must accept I'm that they're, not, they're very if serious you allegations. again, sir, please. So well, what happens in journalism. when you get to a certain level of fame, they go through your entire life forensically and try and destroy you. No, they don't. Earlier, they so, so why hasn't that happened to every celebrity ever? Yeah? Why hasn't that happened to everybody? There's people way more famous than him that this happen hasn't happened to. Literally, everything that comes out of this guy's mouth just makes him sound guilty. ...brought before a judge to hear that they will be sent to the UK. But not until after a Romanian court has itself tried them on similar unrelated charges. And if found hold up, hold up, guilty, hold up. And to hear that they will be... ...life forensically and try and destroy you. Earlier, they had been brought before a judge to hear that they will be sent to the UK. 
but not until after a Romanian court has itself tried them on similar unrelated charges and, if found guilty, any prison sentence has been served. Both men have denied all the charges against them. OK. Andrew Tate is loved by his many fans for his pronouncements on how men should act. His detractors say his message represents a danger to women. Female. And to men. are barely sentient. In his own words, Andrew Tate describes himself as absolutely a misogynist. It doesn't matter whether a woman wants to be a lawyer or a housemaker or a webcam girl. Unless she has a man directing her, <laughs> they're just not built to be completely independent creatures. Andrew Never Tate claims you, his mate. words are often misinterpreted, but the police, teachers, and women's rights groups say his influence he is not built to be an independent creature because he is being sent to jail because he doesn't know how to function as an adult or as a man. He's an absolute cretin, yeah? And you know what? I've come into this with energy straight away because people who follow me know my opinions on all of this, right? But I, I do also understand there's going to be like a couple thousand people who may be watching these videos now or these new subscribers that I've got over here that don't understand my position on this and how much receipts I really have. So we're going to get to those. Don't get it twisted. Uh, we're going to get to the receipts that are for any idiot who go, oh my God, he's being set up. He's innocent. He's just telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get to you. It's toxic. In the UK, some women have spoken about their experience of meeting him, including Evie, not her real name, who spoke to the BBC last year and whose words are voiced by an actress. There's enough evidence out there to show that, you know, these women that he's harmed do exist. So I, I think he needs to just get a bit of a reality check and admit to what he's done. No, can you name it? The brothers may be home, but can't travel abroad. Andrew Tate once praised what he described as Romania's more lenient approach to sexual assault claims. He's now fighting such claims yeah, he both did. here and in the UK. Nick Beek, BBC News, Bucharest. Uh, very interesting. So basically the outcome is that he they have agreed to extradite him to the UK, but not until they complete their investigation and charges in Romania and he serves any jail time. So that could take ages. It could take ages. And now, to be honest, the you know, he talks about the Romanian criminal system being corrupt enough for him to get away with certain things and that's why he wanted to be there. Um, I know they kept him in jail for quite a while, but he's not now. So, to be honest, this may be the time where he uses that to his advantage. Because I'm pretty sure that if he was in the UK now and they built their charge, he'd be kept on remand until that was formed, um, that was prosecuted. Um, I'm going to look at some other. I'm going to look at some other bits here, um, some other videos, and then I'm going to actually. It showed that little clip that it showed there. I've seen either that one or a similar one before. And the evidence, the thing is, yeah, maybe I'll try and find an interview of him talking about this, but it's going to be hard because he's got so much videos. He's recently been saying that the UK are going to come for him next. He's like, oh, after this Romania thing, the UK are going to come for me, the UK are going to come for me. Um, and then his stupid fans are like, oh my God, he's a genius, he's a genius, he knows what they're doing. It's because it proves it's a setup. No, it doesn't prove it's a setup. It proves he did the crime and he knows he did the crime and he proves that he's been shown the evidence and he's been arrested before and he knows what's going to happen. Like they, And I'm sure he has people will contact him and his legal team and let them know that things are going to happen. So he knows, he knows what the evidence is. <laughs> um, and the crazy thing is, we'll get to it, we'll get to it when we show a bit of the evidence, but the crazy thing is there is quite a lot of evidence in the UK charges that he was already arrested for in the past. Pretty solid, solid evidence to the point it's quite wild that they didn't charge him before, right? Um, but we will, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, so we've got a video here of him speaking out. I guess we saw quite a bit of that just now. It just looks different though, so I will give it a quick, a quick view. I want to give I want to give absolute credit to Romanian justice for making 
the correct decision today. See what I'm saying? So now, because remember, he was going on about how corrupt they are now and how actually he was wrong and, you know, when they were holding him in jail for so long and now suddenly he's back on side with them. Fortunately, I don't think many people in Romania understand, but in the West, in the countries that are owned by the Satanists, when you get to a certain level of fame, you either put on a dress or you go to jail and I'm happy to make my choice. This waste, man. He's actually trying to run with like the stupid conspiracies. And this is why we shouldn't really buy into all of that nonsense. I see that Dr. Umar and um, who was he talking to? Nick Cannon about wearing a dress or whatever the other day. Um, you know, this is why I don't buy into that too much. Because it's, it's like a way of controlling people. It's a way of controlling the way people think when we say, when we like, get them obsessed with all these agendas that are going on, these so-called agendas against men. It's like... All we got to do is throw that out and it will make you dismiss all this evidence and stuff that's really going on. Which is jail every single time. My soul is not for sale, neither are my principles. We are oh, innocent men. No, we're very innocent men and in time everybody's going to see that and we're very excited to finish this judicial process and clear our names. Well, you are free for now, but uh, still the Romanian court approved extradition to the UK after the trial is over here. Uh, it's very funny because I've been asking Romanian courts to go to the UK myself. I've asked five times and been declined. So mm -hmm. now I get to go home. That's fantastic. You will be in the, in the jail again at the, the final of apart the from, process. What? Apart from he doesn't, we just established it's not, it's not going to be until he's served his time or those charges have moved on. We'll see about that. We'll see. Oh, was it better? Uh, yeah you know more the same more the same rubbish um i'm just gonna check if there's any other interesting ones that look um he's done a lot of in he's done a lot of interviews on this we're gonna watch one more but it seems like all of them and this is what well, this is something that's quite crazy when you deep it even the first bbc one he didn't really have no statements from the police here. He didn't have no statements from the police or legal system in Romania. It's all just him, 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 him. So they're all talking about how he's attacked by the media and they're trying to silence him, where every single media outlet seems to focus all of these things on letting him speak and letting him get his message across of how innocent he is. That that. We'll see what this one's saying. If, if this one looks like it's the same, then it'll be three in a row that have just done that. Hours after their arrest, the Tate brothers, handcuffed, were taken into court. Tristan first, then Andrew, fighting immediate extradition to the UK. The judge ruled the Tates will have to return, but only after they... Fighting immediate, yeah? Fighting, and he just said that he wanted to go there, and he's fighting immediate extradition to the UK. Face trial Because he don't want to go now. Later, freed from custody, the brothers spoke outside their Bucharest home. Do you want to go back to the UK? I'm sure we'll go back at some point. I have nothing to fear. I have nothing to be afraid of. I know I've done nothing wrong. The fact that they are now seeing that we're going to win this case and have pulled up some garbage from 2012. I mean, if that doesn't demonstrate to the world that this is a major Look at the way his brother's laughing. People, especially in the, in the media and other establishments, don't understand how these things work. But... They're not allowing us to win. They don't want us Wait, to win. Wait, pull that up. A lot of people. Watch this here. Watch the brother. When he said 2012, he, made, he had a proper laugh, like like a little teenager laughing who can't help himself. And let's not forget that he obviously knows that they're guilty of these things. He knows the sick things they've been up to. He's tweeted stuff about little girls and underage girls and all that. These men say this stuff openly. So watch how he laughs. And then it's like he suddenly remembers himself. Being that we're going to win this case. <laughs> is that Jay in the chat? Shout out Jay. What are you saying? That's his real voice, but you never heard him speak before. <laughs> and he talks about alpha male. <laughs> like, honestly, look at this guy's face and his head. Like, this guy is the biggest nerd ever. Like, this guy, um, fresh and fit, all of them are nerds. These are nerds that never knew how to speak to girls growing up. And now they've got some money. They've worked out that there's all these incels out there that will back them and make them feel big. Man sounds like Ned Flanders, Jay said. Anyway, let me let me get this point off. Look at his brother on the left. Jason have pulled up some garbage from 2012. I mean, if that doesn't demonstrate to the world that this is a major... And then he suddenly man, remembers. Like, he suddenly remembers, like, wait, I'm on the news. This is serious. 
<laughs> oh, Jason, no, I dodged everything of his. Yeah, you've been doing good, man. At least watch it with me commentating on how much of a waste man he is. A lot of people, especially in the, in the media and other establishments, don't understand how these things work. But they're not allowing us to win. They don't want us to win. And they've realized <laughs> they need to get desperate. So they've gone all the way back to 2012. <laughs> The Tate brothers are now back here in their... <laughs> Listen, you're making me laugh at his accent. And the messed up thing is, I got like thousands of people on my YouTube at the moment mocking my accent. And they're going, why do you talk like that? Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking black? Why are you talking like LEG? All this kind of stuff. It's absolute madness. I've started telling them, yeah, because it's mostly like over race issues. I've started telling them, right, you must be racist against British people because this is a normal British accent at this point compound complete with security and as you can see luxury cars on the drive you are arrest again why in bucharest for the past two years they've been fighting charges of human trafficking brought by romanian women andrew tate is also accused of rape now the siblings face similar accusations from british women made to bedfordshire police dating back to 2012 to 2015. Apart from these criminal allegations, Andrew Tate is also facing UK civil action. Four women claim he raped them, old accusations that were investigated by Hertfordshire police but dropped. According to their lawyer, there was a suspicion the brothers were about to flee Romania. They deny that. We alerted the UK authorities and we, we made a plea that if they were going to act, that they act now before Tate has a chance to... See that there? Yeah. Um... That's showing that these guys, who are obviously not on his side, were aware that the UK authorities were planning something. So they knew there was something coming. So of course he knew there was something coming. While all these people are thinking he's a genius who predicts everything, it's just been conversated from behind the scenes for ages. Evade justice in Romania and also the UK. The brothers were both kickboxers once, now huge but controversial social media influencers, celebrated and condemned for their lavish lifestyles and sexist views on women. Their lawyer spoke after the hearing. You must bear in mind that at the time when the foreign authorities issue such an arrest warrant, the description of the facts is rather brief and rather incomplete. It seems that we are talking about acts that were allegedly committed many years ago, over 10 years. Allegations by who? Who are the women? What are their names? The Tate brothers deny all allegations against... They know what the names are because they've already been arrested for this before. So they're just trying it. They keep creating as much of a narrative of confusion as possible. them. They are banned from leaving Romania. Tomorrow, they'll hear more about their bail conditions as they await trial. Becky Cotchultz. Okay, so what day was that reported? Oh, that was 10 hours ago. So that means tomorrow there's going to be more information. You may see me doing daily lives. I may do daily lives. I I've been doing that lives for like three hours. I'll probably keep these ones for like an hour or whatever. Um, but yeah, I may have to do daily lives. All right, so as I said, all three of those news... Um, News reports kind of done it from their perspective. That one gave a bit more because it showed a couple other um, perspectives. That was probably the most useful one. Um, do you know what's annoying though? Um, I had an article that I used to show people of his UK charges. And obviously when I Google now Andrew Tate UK charges, all that is going to come up is the current reports from the last two days. Um, I know what to search one sec because I want to show I've already got one YouTube link up that I want to show um, is there's a Forbes link hmm there's okay there's a load of links here yeah I found I found the ones from back then um, nah um, but basically, what I've been this is one thing I've been showing people when people argue that Andrew Tate is innocent is that he had charges in the UK that involved him sending voicemails to a woman where he speaks about assaulting her. Yeah, and I'm going to play that tape here now. So, for anyone who hasn't heard this, you know, trigger warning, you didn't like that. I this is like some quite disturbing stuff. Um, so definitely like trigger warning for words involving SA and R. Um, I avoid saying those words on YouTube because YouTube doesn't like us 
saying those words um and obviously i don't want to trigger people as well but because i'm going to play the tape um or have him saying it but to me like anyone once you once you listen to these tapes and there's also i wanted to find the article because it also shows like transcript script of text messages and stuff like that um and this is voice notes like from his phone to a woman who's accused him from the UK. And this happened, like, like I say, this happened a long time ago and they dropped it. And at the end of the day, the fact that 98% of these charges get dropped in the UK shows like, how wild this, this situation is as far as like failing to prosecute on these cases. Um, so when we see evidence like this, it's like, wow. Because a lot of people say, oh, so it's because there's not enough evidence. Then you see evidence like this and you go, oh, wow, they chose not to charge him based on this. That's crazy. You didn't like that I was thinking I can do whatever I want to. That's what it is. I'm the smartest person on this planet. That's a voice recording controversial influencer Andrew Tate allegedly sent a woman in 2015. That audio... 2015 which is the year that he referenced there a minute ago right they said 2012 and 2015 so there you go this is what they're talking about this is going to be in in um basically i've seen it reported that they're looking at reopening these cases along with disturbing messages reading quote i loved raping you are now coming to light as tate okay so that part yeah when he said i loved um that's in a text message okay but that's confirmed that like that's on police file from his phone faces sex trafficking charges overseas vice world news published the messages and voice notes allegedly made by tate we want to warn you they may be disturbing to some am i a bad person because the, the more you didn't like it the more i enjoyed it i loved how much you hated it turn me on tate known worldwide for so that was in i loved how much you hated it it turned me on like he's openly talking about what he's done his millions of twitter followers and controversial beliefs recently made headlines for his arrest in romania he's now being held on charges of organized crime human trafficking and rape just this week he was denied release from detention and from here prosecutors can request tate's detention be upped from 30 days to 180 days behind bars but this isn't tate's first tangle with the law Back in 2015, he was arrested in the United Kingdom after his accuser provided investigators with this voice recording and violent WhatsApp messages he allegedly sent her. Are you seriously so offended I strangled you a little bit? You didn't f***ing pass out. Chill the f*** out. Jesus Christ, I thought you were cool. What's wrong with you? The accuser in... You didn't pass out. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why didn't you just allow me to assault you? Shout out Jay, he said, yeah, I gotta go to bed and a lot of vomit emojis. I, I feel you, it's one of them things where you might have to just tap out. Um, shout out Iggs the Great. Um, the CPS in England are a letdown, fully. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, serious letdown. Included a message apparently sent from Tate reading, quote, I loved raping you. Tate was arrested on suspicion of sexual assault and physical abuse after two separate accusers came forward. In 2019, prosecutors dropped that case. And if I had actually... Wait, 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 what did it say, 2019? Word. In 2019, prosecutors dropped that case. And if I had actually hurt anybody, the Romanian police would have me in jail. Tate was arrested in Romania in late December as part yeah. of a sex trafficking probe. Again, just make yourself sound guilty. Like, as if every single person has hurt someone is in jail. Like, come on, man. Like, the narratives you're using are not even trying to make you sound innocent. On Thursday, seven of his houses were searched by authorities. A spokesperson for the Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism said the search took place, quote, in order to obtain further evidence. Investigators say Tate, his brother, and two women coerced six women physically and mentally. All four suspects are now being held in Romanian jail. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie. Yeah, that one was kind of useful. I, I, I didn't actually think that was the link I was playing. I thought I was just playing the audio by itself. Um, but that was actually better because it showed the text messages. I wanted to find the article so I could show the text messages, but I read them out. So um, 
Cool. What did Iggs the Great just say, Cyan? Um, oh, it says message retract message retracted. I saw a message and then it was gone. All good though. Um, yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, um, it's crazy that he was not prosecuted for that before. If the UK say, oh, they they remove charges or drop charges because they don't have enough evidence and that's the level of evidence they had um what do you mean tate's been using your message got deleted i deleted yeah i, I, I didn't i didn't see the message fully but cool if you want to say it again say it again but up to you but um yeah my point is what is wrong what what tate's gonna pull off here yeah he's gonna say um and a lot of people are going to claim. Are oh, you saying Tate has a Mason look in his imagery? <laughs> I don't know about all of that, man, but maybe. I mean, he's trying to be part of the system. Like Tate doesn't even pretend. He's like, the world is run by corruption and da da But he's like, I want in. He's not there saying I want to stop it. He's saying I want in. Like I want, I want to be a part of it. He's literally said that loads of times. Paul Close said he is a plonker. Nice to hear you say that, Paul, because we don't always agree on everything, but we can agree on this one. Um, but yeah, my, my point is, his fans and him, what they're going to do, as far as the court of public opinion here, is they're going to say, well, why didn't they charge me for this all the way back then? They're only charging for me for it now that I'm famous and they want to bring me down. Now, let's say there's even some truth to that. It doesn't mean you're innocent. Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean you're innocent one bit. Um... What that means is that the system is completely broken and they didn't charge him when they should have. Like, they don't charge the other 98% of men who should be charged. And they're only charging him now because the entire world is calling him out and saying you need to hold him to account. So what you need in order to get a charge with him literally admitting to it on tape, admitting it, talking about doing it on tape, even with that evidence, you still need the entire world to pressure the CPS and police to do something about it. And then they'll go, oh, okay, we'll reopen it. So that's the real, that's what this really reveals to us. You know what I'm saying? Um, Michaela Ford um, says, the fact that less than 98% of our charges are dropped essentially makes art legal in the UK. Yeah, 100%. I've seen, there's an article I used to share as well um, that, that basically says that in the headline. It says decriminalised. It was like, yeah, our, our is essentially decriminalised in the UK. And when they wrote that article, I think it was 96%. And that was only two, three years ago. So it's gone up. Um, the amount of people we get off has gone up by 2%. In, you know, that 2% again has gone up in the time period um, where these guys have become more famous and more popular. Like we've seen certain things. I put out a clip saying that to that i had noticed you know that this statistic used to get shared all the time that two women are murdered per week in the uk by their male partners and i had noticed that over a certain level number of years it had started getting um reported as three per week and i was like whoa that's gone up 50 percent in that time frame and i said that in a podcast i it wasn't based i said at the time it wasn't based on any statistics like specific numbers i'd seen i just noticed it reported as two per week and then noticed it reported as three per week um i i can't really talk about this shit because i've um signed an nda but basically that that clip almost got used for something and then they couldn't use it because although we, they all agreed what i said was true um essentially is that it's just there's just a bit more nuance to it basically um and it has increased but it's not necessarily two to three like it's 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 way more um detailed than that and um you know my observation of it rising in that time since Andrew Tate etc has become popular is just the observation you know what I'm saying but anyway we'll get to that when that when that um program comes out I'll I'll talk about it <laughs> but um yeah basically yeah that's what I gotta say on the matter man. I think yeah the most interesting thing is that they didn't charge him previously and now they are and he's gonna make a song and dance about that to make himself sound innocent and guess what I agree we should make a song and dance about that but not because he's innocent because the system failed before and now they only want to do something because there's all this pressure on them so it's, yeah, it's not good enough. You know what I'm saying, um, and hopefully he will come to the UK, and will be charged. 
and will be found guilty on those charges because it's the evidence there. We just heard it; it's really quite solid. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and put that in place with the fact this is a woman making her own accusation and giving her own evidence and testimony.